Hey, welcome back to episode five of Realize Your Potential with Mike and Travis. We are so excited to complete this series of PPA, passion, prepared, and now we're gonna finish it off with action. We talked the last three weeks, passion, about how discovering that, prepare, how to prepare to take action in terms of your passion, and now we're gonna talk about actually taking action. So. Let's just jump right into it. You know what? Before we do that, Mike, you know we got to tell people to like, share, and subscribe. We have to. I mean, we don't have a choice. We 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 are obligated by our uh, by our sponsors, who are uh, Mike and Travis. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Mike and Travis are our sponsors. Like, share, and subscribe, guys. Uh, it really helps out the station and, and keeps us keeps us going. So, anyways, let's jump right into it. So, Mike, how does someone prepare? to take action. Sure. One of the things that we'd like to to do when we're trying to do that is get in the right mindset, right? So one of the things that we do is try to find a safe space, which means that there's no distractions. Mm -hmm. So find a space where you're not getting interrupted by by work phone calls. Try to find a space where you don't have your kids running around screaming. So wait, no, no Cyrus, no, no Cyrus no. in the background. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and as and as you can see, I am far away from home right now. So, <laughs> so yeah, no, no kids is distractions unless it's a pleasant distraction. Uh -huh. And uh, if you have a significant other, try your best to meet their needs and then find some time for yourself in a place that's quiet and for you to be able to think. And if you have any brainstorming techniques that you use that you can implement that. Mm -hmm. The next thing that I would suggest, which is super simple to do, which I was actually tra talking to Travis about this I did two days ago, was go to a place where there's some water put some cold water in your hands, splash your face a few times. And what that does, it sort of shocks your system mm. and, and, and it actually gets you in a more calmer place, which um, is a very easy thing to do and to try. And again, you have to practice that a few times to then be able to notice what goes on. When I was talking to Travis about it, I shared with him, I do this practice, not a lot, but I've done it a few times. And now what I'm able to do is sort of notice how the water is running through my eyebrows, through my eyelashes, which then puts me in a more calmer place. So, um, yeah. but of course, before you get on camera or anything, make sure you, you dab yourself. <laughs> you got to wipe it So it, it doesn't off. look like you just ran a, so it doesn't look like you just ran a, a marathon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think that's really good feedback. And I think what I really love about the tips that you're giving us uh, as a, pertains to like really getting your mind right before any of these actions there i guess they're all actions but um is these tips are really simple and things that people can actually action before they move towards whatever action they're getting ready to take so i really love that one it's really simple but it really is helpful so and i think all of us at some point have 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 splashed water on our face to kind of wake us up and, and get ready um, but I think doing that consciously and then to your point, being aware of how that impacts your body is, is pretty special. So it's a good thing. Um, so now we're in the right mindset, right? We splashed water on our face. We took a towel, we wiped it off. And now it's really getting to just like, just like Nike says, right? Just do it. And th you've prepared for it. You've identified it. And now it's time to do that action. And so that action Let's go with the example we went with before, which is whatever passion I have, I've got to go back to school. So I've got to take class. I've done the preparation for getting ready for school. I've filled out my financial aid. I've done all of those things. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Right. I've set my smart goals on what I want to accomplish and how I want to accomplish it. And now I'm actually in the action step of going back to class. Go to class. Right. <laughs> Put it on your calendar. Make sure that you're on time. Make sure that you're doing your homework. You have to actually take action. 
And some would say, well, that's easier said than done. And the reality is just do it, right? There's no other way, there's no other way to take action than to actually take action and take one step at a time. Um, Mike always talks about it, have your support systems in your corner to push you forward. But this next part is all on you. And we talk about it in our, all of our promos and, and all those things, action is required. This is that step here. We just have to do it. What would you add to that, and Mike? Tra- yeah, and just to add to it is, if you find yourself struggling with moving to action, Try to then work through what's getting in the way. Mm. And that's another opportunity to check mm-hmm. in with your support system to give you feedback around, you know, hey, I'm struggling with this. What do you think might be getting in the way for me? Something maybe that I, I'm not noticing or even for yourself evaluating that, right? Yeah, and it's it's interesting. You know, our, our website is in the works. It's coming out relatively soon. Um, and we have an article release on that that talks about a lot of the topics that we talk about here in the video and it's interesting that you brought that up because my dad read that article as kind of previewing the article and it prompted him to just take action right and as he was reading the article he's like yeah why am i why am i not doing the thing that i know i should be doing and he called me about it he's like man i read it and i was like boom i got out after it and i did what i was supposed to do And so to your point of having that support system, there's a bunch of different ways to find that support system, right? It's the people around you. You may read something, watch this video, but it should inspire you to take a specific action and then do it. Um, I think that's that's a really good point, Mike. That's a really good point. Um, And then last but not least, which is a piece that I think people miss the most, is evaluate and then adjust. And so what we mean by that is, okay, I've taken this action. I've gone to class, right? Let's say I'm struggling in class. It's not going the way I want it to go. You can't continue to just go to class and think that one day it's going to be better. You also shouldn't quit class, right? That's probably not the right step either. You have to evaluate what's going wrong. Are you, do you not have enough time? Do you need some more support? Are your kids going crazy? Is this subject just difficult for you? Do you need tutoring? So really evaluate how this is going. So like evaluate everything that's going on and then assess it and then adjust. If it's going great, continue to do the actions that are going really well. If it's going bad, now you have to adjust and to the point, right? I get a tutor. I might call Mike and say, hey, Mike, can you babysit these kids for me for a couple for a couple hours? Right. Mm -mm. What (laughs) he said, no, I got my own problem. (laughs) But um, whatever the case may be, right, get (laughs) adjust in the way that will help you continue to move forward towards your passion and what you put in place. What do you think there, Mike? Yeah, I, I think that's that's exactly it. And I think for some of us, in terms of what we're talking about, like it's, we we maybe implement these strategies in our work life. And that's the cool thing about this is how functional it is, you know, and how do you apply Mm -hmm. it for yourself in your own life? Um, So just for me, that's what stands out for me. Um, Because I do treatment plans, right? And treatment plans, Mm -hmm. (laughs) this is sort Mm -hmm. of part of the flow Mm -hmm. in terms of evaluating the effectiveness of what's going on, you know? And if you need to pivot um, to support yourself or to support others, then there's an opportunity there for you to be mindful of that and doing something different. Yeah, I know that you help people adjust all the time in terms of like their actions. Hey, we need to go in a different direction. Is there anything that you notice over time that is really getting in the way of people being able to adjust? Like, okay, I've, I've taken the action and I'm, I keep just doing the same thing over and over again. Mm-hmm. What do you feel like gets in their way and what maybe helps them move past that? One of the strategies I do, but of course it's, I take an individualized approach, right? So it just depends on sort of where the person is at. Um, but if I'm able to bring their awareness to sort of a change model and identify for them or with them where you, where they might be at in that. Some people just aren't ready for change. You know, mm-hmm. some people just, they feel like they want to, but they just, they aren't there yet. And even just acknowledging that that's where they're at can give folks comfort and sort of get their, get themselves out of this sort of, you know, place like that, that feels like that um, to get them unstuck. Um, 
hope that makes sense. But that's sort of that's sort of what I try to do is educate them on a change process and try to help them identify where they're at. Mm-hmm. And then that's where the solution starts to come into play in terms of recommendations. So, yeah, that's which huge. I would wait, 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 which huge. I try to pull out. I try to pull out from them. So <laughs> <laughs> which is difficult. Right. And we all struggle with that. I know for me. Sometimes I can get stubborn and decide, like, I think this is the right route and I keep keep going and keep going in that route. And I think we say this all the time. And I, I know there are people who've actually reached out to me and said, man, this was really huge. Just a reminder of who do you surround yourself with? Do not be afraid to reach out to the people in your corner and go, I'm not getting the results I want, but I feel like I'm going down the right path and walk them through it. And typically what those people will tell me is like, hey, you're doing this right, but here's an area of opportunity for you. And so, you know, we can't say it enough, surrounding yourself with the right people and reaching out to those people on a regular basis to help you through all of the steps and all of the things that we will talk about. And even as we start to add guests to the show, what you'll probably understand and see from all of them is the people that were around them that helped them get to where they are. Yep. Yep, yep. Guys, Thank you again for joining in. Um, I say guys way too much. I should say <laughs> folks, or maybe I just say ladies. Ladies, thanks for for, for tuning in. That's a that's an area of opportunity for me right there. Um, but folks, thanks for thanks for thanks for her, thanks for joining this week. We really appreciate it. We really love it. Um, the the feedback has been amazing. We just request we get all of these texts and we get these phone calls and we get these emails. And what we'd love to hear is your feedback in the comments. So tell us what you're taking away from PPA. And you, I know you've talked about your passion. You've talked about a little bit about what you're doing to prepare. But now talk about that action. Maybe what's getting in the way. What's stopping you as you're evaluating or adjusting? Where do you need help? Um, and once again, if you do need help with those things, uh, please reach out to www.realizingnow.com. And Mike and I would love to spend some time helping you figure out how to reach the best version of yourself. Thanks again for tuning in and uh, we will see you next week.